deal with it. Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, Richard Knudsen here, and I should start by acknowledging, uh, th certainly for those of you that have known me for a while, you uh, should appreciate that this presentation is a bit of a milestone for me, since uh, after running my company IMG for probably longer than I'd like to acknowledge in, uh, in polite company, this is my debut presentation under the banner of my new company, Magenium Solutions. And I am in my f exactly my fourth day, halfway through my fourth day of employment as the VP of uh, Magenium's CRM practice. So all week I've been practicing saying things like, Hi, Richard Knutson here. I'm the VP of the uh, CRM practice at Mag Magenium Solutions, and welcome to session one of our What's New in CRM 2011 Lunch and Learn series. And if I practice it enough, it'll get so it rolls uh, trippingly off the tongue. And uh, let me just kind of give you a little background on what we do here and how uh, my CRM practice fits in. So uh, Magenium is a um, IT uh, services firm, provides a number of uh, services in some, in, across a few different areas, project consulting services. We do a full range of IT staffing um, services, custom application development, and they're particularly strong and deep uh, across the entire Microsoft stack. So the networking infrastructure, messaging, communication, SQL, .NET application development. And as you know, CRM, dynamic CRM that is, sits uh, right in the middle of that stack. And so uh, the, uh, the, the services that my, my team, my practice is going to provide is, uh, is a good, good fit here at Magenium. And um, we'll, uh, you know, be in part of a of a of a team like. Sorry about that. It's the, we have an access to the uh, the broader um, resource pool that Magenium has. It's going to let us tackle more larger, more complex projects. And the timing is good for this because you now, bringing us to the uh, today's topic, um, CRM 2011 is going to be a uh, it's a really important upgrade. Uh, for Microsoft. It's, from what I've seen so far, the uh, experience I've had working with the uh, first the, the CTP and now the beta, this is a huge upgrade really across the board and it's going to enable um, certainly larger and more complex projects with more integration points and it's uh, just it's going to be a very a popular upgrade too. What I want to do in these sessions is um, really familiarize you with, uh, with some of the most important new features and in particular sort of the, the theme will be getting ready to upgrade. So what kinds of things do you need to uh, keep in mind about as you're, as you, you know, and we'll talk about some of that, some of those uh, topics at the end, but how you prepare for the upgrade and how you prepare to take advantage of a lot of these new features. So today what I'm going to do is provide um, what necessarily will be uh, sort of the greatest hits. So this is sort of across a number of feature areas, so the user experience, the customizer experience, um, a particular area of interest of mine, workflows and system settings. I'm going to just kind of give you a survey. Uh, this is far from comprehensive in 60 minutes, um, but I'll, sub I'll schedule subsequent sessions and we'll drill down in some of these areas a lot more. But that's kind of a roadmap for what we're going to talk about today. So let me dive in and uh, start with the user experience. And I will show, um, today I'll, I'll spend, no, don't worry, I'm not going to bludgeon you with PowerPoint slides the entire time. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll spend most of my time, we'll be looking at the product. Um, but today I'm going to focus on the web um, experience. So I'll have a separate session specifically for the Outlook client. So this is going to be the core user experience in the web client. But even in the web client, um, I think, you know, one of the things that, uh, that I was impressed with after working with it, even for a little bit, is how productive the ribbon UI really is. I think it's, it's, it's a better metaphor uh, for, the, for the UI in CRM, really, than in even some of the Office products. So I, f I found it once I sort of got past the, the what's where syndrome that you experience with a new product um, upgrade. It really is productive, and I'll show you that. Um, the, uh, the, the way lists work now is, 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 I think, much more productive, and especially if you combine it with the charting and visualization features. I'll show you a couple of examples that, that I've kind of started to adopt in my day-to-day -day work that really take advantage of the charting and visualization to, you know, get 
things done, just business things that I need to do that actually makes those things um, easier to get done. Show you a little example of a pretty specific feature, connection roles. Compare this to the relationship roles feature in 4.0 that I'm still not sure I ever really figured out. Let's see how much how, some of the improvements in the uh, in the UI. And then there's a whole raft of things that I'm not really going to touch on today, but we will and drill down on in more detail in subsequent sessions. So sales literature, the knowledge base, records can now be owned by teams instead of just users. Organization owned out of the box SharePoint integration, of course, the full fledged Office 2010 client experience with Outlook, which we'll look at more in a subsequent session. So, I'm going to focus at least for the user experience piece on these pieces right here. And with that, uh, just a couple of slides, and then we'll dive into the demo. So, the ribbon, if you compare the 4.0 experience, looking at, say, a, 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 the account list selected on an account. Compare that to the mileage you get out of the ribbon selected on one record. So you've certainly got a lot more things you can do. And in, in my experience so far, it's a lot more clear from the context of, the, um, of this ribbon UI that, you know, what you're doing. And I'll show you a pretty good illustration of that in a second. I think so even the web client, I think the ribbon UI really, really makes things easier to understand and again there's a little bit of dislocation just because it's different but I think this really showcases the value of that ribbon UI. The filtering and visualization piece is important. Working with lists I find just way more productive in the CRM 2011 than in 4. Um, what I mean by filtering you'll notice there's a little filter button. It doesn't look like much but it really does add quite a bit. Basically it turns the CRM lists into sort of like an Excel almost type of a functionality and you get added functionality on top of this in the Outlook client. We'll look at that in a subsequent session but these filters are persistent. They apply to charts that you've got selected. I'll take you through some examples of that. Um, so when you select a filter it applies to the chart that's available for any, any list, any entity that you're looking at and one of the cool things about charts is you can drill down. I'll show you how drill down works. Pick a, pick a pie piece or a bar, whatever the, the chart type might be, and you can filter on the category that you selected and um, have that filter apply. You know, the, the, the filter basically synchronizes across the chart and the list, and I'll show you how that works. I find that extremely helpful. Um, another example, this issue of connection roles. So we still have relationship roles, but connection roles I find almost immediately useful, whereas relationship roles, it really took a long time. They're pretty well hidden and a little bit obscure um, in terms of how they were, how, how you would use them. Connection roles, I think you'll see, um, are both easier to configure. They're a lot more front and center. There's a whole bunch of roles, pretty common roles, I think, um, built out, and um, we'll see what these look like in a second. That's the configuration piece, and then using them on any list you're selected on a record, you'll see that connect um, drop-down list at the top of the at the ribbon, and um, I'll show you how that works in a second.